Hello, my name is John Pin, and welcome to my 15112 Fundamentals of Programming Term Project. So let's get started. So here's my main screen. Um, here's BB King, who's the legend of jazz guitar. And my music, my program is called Music Improv. Basically, what my program does is it allows the user to improvise to any jazz music, and in the end, it generates the sheet music automatically. If you click about me. It talks about why I love jazz music and also talks about how easy it is to improvise to any jazz music. And if you click help menu, it'll basically help users to get started on my program. So let's start, let's start by clicking the start button. When you click start button, it'll go into this main menu where it says read instructions below first. So BB King is still around because he's the one who will help the user to get through my program. Um, Basically, he'll instruct users to what to do, and he will generally be the helper of any users in this program. So let's click next, next, and as you can see, BB King is instructing the user to select any root from the root selection, and in this case, he says his favorite is B. So let's give it a try. When you click B, as you can see, the purple square here is now disappeared and is now a new new main menu. And now what user can do is they can select any scale selection from the scale selection menu. And in here, BB King uh, suggests clicking minor because that's his favorite scale. So let's give that a try. When you click minor, it's now into a new screen where um, user can now finally improvise. And as you can see on the left side of the screen, all these blue squares indicate any blue scales that will work with the scale and all the red circles indicate all the minors or accidentals that will work with this scale. So now, as you can see, all these letters indicate the letters in their keyboard. So if you press uh, S in your keyboard, we'll start playing the notes. So all the notes are binded with your keyboard and it will play back the corresponding notes. And if you press play, it will start playing the backing track and it will also automatically start recording what the user is inputting and it will generate the sheet music in the end. So let's give that a try. So basically what this does is you can press any buttons that are indicated here and it will still sound good because that's what jazz improvisation is. Um, basically if you press any of the notes here, it will work well with a scale. So when you're done, all you have to do is press done and it will stop playing the music and it will automatically generate the music, sheet music. And to access your sheet music, all you have to do is go to the folder and double click and open this sheet music.ly and it will open this code um, in LY format and in order to generate this into sheet music you have to have this program called Lily Pond and in order to download that program if you, if you go to readme it'll have you a, it'll give you a website where you can download Lily Pond and once you download Lily Pond all you have to do is um, run this code and it'll automatically generate PDF file of your sheet music like here so this will have all the notes that you've pressed and it will also tell you what note, what scale and what root it was improvised in. So now what you users can do is play these notes in a real instrument and then play it in any B minor backing track. So if you play these music in any B minor backing track, it will work really well. So here's the sheet music. And now let's give other scales a try. So by clicking back button, you're back to the main screen. And now let's try B Blues. So this is a different, uh, different movie. It's kind of uplifting. All the blues are a bit uplifting. So now it has the same method of keybind. And it will also generate music, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. And let's try something else. Let's try F minor. 
Now this is my personal favorite because it has a really cool backing track. Um, Project. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll also have a video of myself playing in the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.